Hey guys, Sherax here, and today we have gotten the Android 12 and One UI 4.0 update on my Samsung Galaxy A52 5G. And Samsung has released the updates on the Samsung A series as well, like the A32 and the A71, and so on. So I am super duper pumped up for this video, and let's see what we can get out of this new fresh version of our samsung galaxy a52 and sorry about that i didn't make a video about this samsung a52 so without wasting any time let's get into the update here's the update which is like a basic uh thing where i talked about the update on my samsung s21 video so if you want to uh go up there there's that video if you want full detail and i will be making a tips and trick video about the android 12 which i mentioned it like a couple months ago but i didn't get a time for it because you know i have school and everything so just subscribe to my channel and turn on those post notifications so that you'll be the first one to watch my videos and now let's hit install now phone has just got updated um as you can see the notification panel uh just says the upgrade and stuff from my carrier and you can see that the brightness bar has changed as well as the notification icons it's now rounded corners and it looks a lot more modern now unlike the previous android 11 and now if we're going to settings and then if we scroll down until about phone and then software information it says one ui4 and android 12. so here is the update of the android 12 and now some features as of color palette extra dim your light and a new recording feature so one of the key feature on this is the color palette which is the main feature of this update so now how to access this is to hold down on your screen and then go to wallpaper and themes and then down here you can see it says color palette now if you select that you have different options to choose from so if i do this one this one right here and then apply that to app icons and then select done then if i just go on to my it will bug a little because we just changed it so let's just give it a little time there we go so now our apps are mixed like so the samsung owned apps like the calculator clock calendar are all now purple you can see the gallery is purple and then the camera is light blue and if we swipe down you can see that this is a little green and this is purple as well so samsung has included like new different color options for your phone so the phone will generate a custom theme according to your wallpaper so right now my wallpaper is like a planet type theme where there's like a little bit red and then blue so that's why this is like blue and a little bit purple as well but if you like change your wallpaper like as if, if i change my wallpaper right now to probably this color right here and now if i go into color palette you can see that the colors have changed too. So there's the yellow, dark yellow, and then black option too, which I select that. If I go onto my home screen, it'll bug a little. And there you can see that it has changed. Like the icons are green now. And then this is a little bit dark yellow and this is yellow. Now the most fascinating feature I've ever seen on a smartphone is that if you go down, and then if you go to your three dots and select edit buttons you can see this option of extra dim just pull that out set it and what that does is that right now my brightness is like this and we like when i select that on it will dim my brightness a little bit more so as of like it's like this much and if i select that it'll dim a little bit more you won't see a major difference right here but at night time when you're like sitting at your bed and 
surfing around on your phone and if you find your screen a little bit too bright, you can select this option to extra dim your light. Thank you so much, Samsung. This helped me a lot. Boom. Now, another feature on your edit buttons is that if you go down and, you know, you can just go here and then press the plus button. And it'll bring up this. Is the microphone access. Now, I don't know for some reason that the camera access thing is not showing up on my phone. Well, if I just go up here and then search it up right here, it doesn't show the camera access. So, I don't know that the camera access thing is compatible with the A52 or not. But there is still the microphone access which you can turn off. And any app cannot hear you. Like, it cannot record your microphone. This is really nifty. Now, a major improvement in your camera is that when you open camera and when you see this photo button, if you hold on it and then go up a little and then press the lock button, you start your video recording. And then here you can do like 1x, 2x, and then just zoom out until like the maximum that you have on your phone. And then when you're done, just press that and then you have a recording saved on your phone. Isn't this pretty cool? Wow. Now, another thing you may have not noticed is that on previous versions, you had to actually press this and let go of it in order to start recording. But in this, you just press on this and it starts recording. So this is quite a big, big jump so that when you have one-handed recording, you can still record things with your one hand. Wow. Now this is for you guys who use your phone in one-handed mode. So as you can see, if I want to switch, I have to reach up all the way, which is quite painful and you have a fear of dropping your phone. Well, I have a solution for you. Go to your settings and then go to search bar, one-handed mode. And when this pops up, click on it and then go to one-handed mode. Toggle that on and you can click on that where it says the gesture or the button. So there is a button on the screen where you double tap the home button and you will launch the one-handed mode or the gesture which is swipe down in the center of the bottom edge of the screen. So let's try. And there we go. You can see this is now in one-handed mode. Now it did take up some space on the screen like you can see this but you know it's really good. You have a small widget of your phone. <laughs> Very nice. So this was all about the Samsung Galaxy A52 5G update and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video and also subscribe. I'll be making some more content about this as well and I'll see you guys next time. See ya! Bye.